All right. Today is finally the day we get to see Minecraft's newest mob, the Sniffer. So throughout these snapshots, with this current one that is out, I have been dividing all of the new features into separate videos. Because frankly, there is a whole lot to say, and I felt like dividing each feature of the latest snapshot would be best suited to be individual videos. And today is going to be the last installment of that, since that Minecraft pretty much already finished announced what is coming in in Minecraft version 1.20. And I purposely wanted to save the sniffer for last, mainly because of how unique the mob is to the game, and uh, it's also still a work in progress. So what I am going to be addressing about the sniffer, it's not 100%, it's not foolproof, but it's basically the cliff notes on what we should be expecting from the new mob. So I think with all of that said and done, I kind of want to just get straight into it. So with the introduction of the sniffer, here is the spawn egg, and I also wrote down a couple of notes that may be important to address when it comes to the new mob. So according to Minecraft, they've deemed the sniffer as the first ancient mob. That is definitely something interesting to bring up, because obviously it's the first ancient mob. The only other ancient thing that I can think of added to the game is ancient debris, and that's really about it. Just ancient debris and having a first ancient mob. So I feel like maybe in the future we might have some kind of ancient update. Maybe, maybe. Just coming up with theories here. It doesn't mean it's true. They also said that the, the sniffer is a friendly and passive creature. So it won't attack you. It just kind of wants to do its own thing. Uh, you cannot tame a sniffer as a pet. And you cannot lure him. And also... One special ability with the sniffer is they can sniff out special seeds in the dirt. So, if you haven't already seen what the sniffer looks like, here you go. Big boy. Also, a uh, little bonus fact here. Uh, did I... Did another one spawn? There you go. Fun fact, um, a baby sniffer is actually referred to as a snifflet. That is honestly a, a pretty adorable fact. I did a horrible job giving him containment. There we go. All right, here, you get you, you guys get a much bigger space. Now I don't feel as guilty. But yeah, this is the sniffer. This guy is a huge behemoth. Honestly, he was a lot bigger than I was expecting him to come out as. I thought he was going to come out as like the size of the baby one right there. But the, the, whole, the whole deal with the sniffer is unlike regular mobs, you cannot go out in the world and explore and stumble across a sniffer. That's kind of the whole big thing as to what makes ancient creatures ancient. To kind of put it in a reference, you may have noticed that I just left a random dragon egg on top of a display case here. I only put this down as a side note that when you find ruins, say like underwater ruins, you should be able to find an egg, a similar color scheme to the sniffer spawn egg. You have to find one of those eggs underwater, and then you can pick up the egg, lay it down, and eventually it'll hatch into the sniffer. Looks kind of freaky though, just seeing how high his nose gets whenever he sniffs. I thought it was a beak, but I guess it's fleshy. So is is the, the yellow part of the mouth like lips? Because there's no way a beak would, would stretch like that high. I see you sniffing me. But an important detail to also address for the sniffer is one of their special abilities is that they can sniff seeds. Which earlier, there we go, I, we just picked up the torch flower seed. That is one of the ancient seeds that they are able to sniff from the dirt. But they actually don't just sniff it out of the dirt. They can sniff it out from dirt or grassy dirt, podzol, coarse dirt, rooted dirt, moss block, mud, or muddy mangrove roots. These are all of the blocks that the sniffers are capable of extracting seeds from. And I think someone may be questioning this little setup I have here, that yes, this is a basic pen to contain the sniffer. But with the whole introduction of having these ancient seeds, you might be thinking to yourself, like, oh, I might be able to leave the sniffer here alone and he could just constantly sniff up seeds. But I wrote down little two notes here. Uh, the sniffer cannot auto farm. So you cannot leave, oh my god, I thought I was about to escape. 
So the thing is, you really cannot leave the sniffer in a contained area and expect him to constantly sniff and pick up seats. Because another point is that the game will remember which blocks have been sniffed. So say they sniff this block and there actually is a seed out of it. The game will remember that the seed has been extracted from the block and you can no longer get seeds out of the block. So eventually, if the sniffer gets all of the blocks in his containment, they're not going to find any more seeds because they've already been extracted from the dirt. Also, the sniffers do have a cooldown, so if they do extract a seed from the dirt, they can extract one set of seeds every eight minutes. And you know what? I want to place another one down because we, let, we, let's, let's, let's watch it as it picks up some seeds. I don't think I made the best choice in this case containing him. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit him. Oh no, I'm a jerk. I'm a jerk. Well, he's on some kind of trail. And as you can see, he lays down comfortably, digs his head in the dirt, and out comes a torch flower seed. Seriously, these guys are pretty cute looking abominations. And also too, it, it took me a while to eventually notice that they have six legs. They have front legs, back legs, and, and, and center legs. Oh, this thing is cute. It's... I... You're, you're, you, you guys are like ugly, but it's the kind of ugly where it's ugly, but yet at the same time you can actually find it a little cute. Let them thrive! Let them thrive! Let them roam the world that they've once lived in! It's like restoring the dodo, but in Minecraft. So out of everything we've discussed, I think the last thing to bring up is the fact that with these seeds, the torch flower seeds, they create what's known as a torch flower. And I'm going to plant some torch flowers up over here, which I should, probably should have got the dirt ready beforehand. So when you place the torch flower seeds, they grow in three phases. Phase one, phase two, and phase three. And with all of these flowers here, the new torch flower, you might be thinking to yourself, what exactly can I do with a torch flower? Nothing. The torch flower does nothing. Well, I mean, in all fairness too, this part of the snapshot is still in development, so they might give the torch flower some new features when the game comes on. But one other thing to address is that if you do harvest the flowers, you only just get the flower. The flower won't drop any seeds when you pick it up. You can only pick up the flower, which if anything, it actually does kind of keep the value of it being a, uh, a special kind of flower. But there have also been a leak showing another potential ancient flower because right now this is the only flower that the sniffer is able to harvest. And frankly, I really do hope to see the sniffer get more use in the future because I would honestly love to see the sniffer potentially maybe pick up seeds for not just like ancient flowers, but maybe also like ancient crops. Maybe you could bring more food into the whole, uh, I guess, I don't know, like Minecraft food pyramid. I, that part I can't exactly think of off the top of my head. But hey, out of it uh, just comes another source just to get orange dye. And without further ado, this has been the last portion of what Minecraft has planned for version 1.20. Now I know that I've only just recently gotten back to covering Minecraft snapshots. There have been Minecraft snapshots for 1.20 I have not covered yet, but I will go over them once when version 1.20 comes out, when everything is finalized, set in stone, ready to go. But this has been Minecraft, I believe, 23w07a i believe we just covered the last of what minecraft 1.20 has to offer if you want to check out the cherry blossoms or archaeology i'll be sure to link those two videos down in the description below also if you like how i cover minecraft snapshots please let me know down in the comments below uh because frankly i i just kind of want you to help fuel my non-existent ego but other than that it helps me understand that you guys enjoy me making snapshot videos but until then, this has been another Minecraft Snapshot video, and of course it rains on my parade as I try to conclude. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.